Documentary filmmaker James Redford visited Walla Walla in July 2012 after asking Jane Stevens, founder of ACES Connection, for an introduction to a community putting the science of ACES into practice. At that time, Jane felt our community initiative is what Jamie wanted to see. For his visit, I arranged several interviews to showcase the many active partnerships underway in creating a community conversant in ACEs, brain development, and resilience, our initial goal, to then shift systems to be trauma-informed. These interviews included Lincoln High School, the Health Center, which provided mental, physical, and emotional support next door to Lincoln, the Children's Home Society of Washington, providing parent support services to the students, commitment to community which connected neighbors to encourage leadership and empowerment, United Way, a local foundation leader, and a mom who had been transformed by the information of ACEs and was sharing her message of love and hope with many other parents. Lincoln was selected as the documentary focus in part because of the impressive data already generated by Principal Jim Sporlater on reduced suspensions, expulsions, and disciplines when a trauma-informed approach was used. The documentary was released in late May 2015. The New York Times called it absolutely riveting, profoundly important in bringing the message of hope and love and the impact of a caring relationship in healing the scars of childhood trauma to the thousands and thousands of screenings throughout the world. I applaud the efforts of KPJR and James Redford in promoting the resilience movement by shining their powerful light through their two films. My colleague Rick Griffin and I started the Beyond Paper Tigers conferences in 2016 as a way to show this movement beyond what one saw in Paper Tigers of the high school implementation. It went beyond that from the perspective of showcasing the community-wide approach, that the community is the solution, and with this knowledge comes the responsibility for all to step forward and be trauma-informed practitioners. We also tried to show in the conference name the nuance that this is beyond behaviors. It is learning to recognize the upstream issues that ACEs brought forward, including cultural ACEs, circuitry ACEs, community ACEs, and that behaviors mask what's really happening. When we can recognize behaviors communication as a call for safety and connection, we can begin to make the change with trauma-informed practices. And our data clearly supports that community resilience helps buffer the effect of ACEs, race, and poverty. We need this movement toward wellness and equity now more than ever.